What's up? I'm going to review the latest video by Simnet Nutrition. What I eat for good digestion. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another full day of eating. I'm Derek from Simnet Nutrition and I'm sure you saw by the title of this video, today's focus is going to be all on digestive health. So I'll show you my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner of easily digestible plant-based meals. So there's lots you can do. The premise of the video already doesn't make sense because it's not as if you need to eat something for good digestion as if your digestion shouldn't be naturally good <laughs> you improve your digestion it's not just dependent on the food so i'll be giving lots of tips throughout the day to help you there so don't just skip through because you might miss something it doesn't make any sense there's no need to improve your digestion if your digestion is messed up then it simply means that you're eating the wrong foods important so of course this is going to be the perfect day to help everyone's digestion but for the most part these meals are really gentle on the gut and i will give you reasons why i'm including certain ingredients that help digestion so you can apply the knowledge elsewhere so with all that being said these might not be the quickest the tastiest the most nutritive or the most protein packed meals that you've ever had but i think you'll see that it checks most of those boxes and most importantly digestive health so first thing i did when I uh, really ridiculous you could simply eat the foods with the most protein with the most nutrition and so on which are also the most easily digestible foods, which are animal foods, raw meat. It's the easiest to digest food and it has every nutrient. <laughs> it's just perfect. Why would you need to make a video like this to try to somehow digest the plant foods? I got up this morning, was poured myself a big it's just so stupid. of water. Not just any water, lemon water. So mm. lemon water actually helps to stimulate gastric juices and get our digestion going. So I grabbed my lemon water and headed outside. It helps if you have problems digesting your food because it's very acidic, but that's not a long-term solution. Your problem is your diet. Because I always like to do some stretches in the morning and today I decided to do some that can help with digestion. So the cat-cow pose is a great one for that. Same with the laying twist. And this one here, the single-legged knee to chest is a great one, especially for helping to relieve like gas and bloating. And if you pull both legs up, it's even better. <laughs> It's not normal to have gas or bloating in the first place. That's a problem for people who eat plant-based or especially vegan, 100% plant-based diets. <laughs> he just doesn't understand it. It's as if he believes that it's normal. And beyond those stretches, just get moving. A little jumping in the spot, just moving around, or even jumping jacks is definitely going to be enough to help get that digestion going. And speaking of getting going, I'm going to be heading to the gym here soon. <sighs> you guys know I love my coffee. and I This is so unnecessary. I never have any gas. And bloating? That's pretty severe. I definitely have an on and off again relationship with it. And I know when my digestion is not good, the coffee has to go. So everyone responds a little bit different to coffee and caffeine, but if you find stuff's moving through you a little too quickly, it's not forming up very well, there's not a lot of volume per bathroom visit. Uh, or I just really gotta say, and I said this in the last video that I made about him, he looks incredibly exhausted, abnormally. His eye bags, dark eye circles are really something else. Or if you're getting like some heartburn and stuff like that, maybe try giving up the coffee for a little while to see if it improves things. It's so sad. He's really destroying his body. Yeah. Once I get to the gym and I get moving and everything, the sugars and all that in the fruit is going to be more than enough to power me through this workout. So The fiber in bananas will most definitely cause digestive issues there. You already have one of the problem foods. Fruit's a great thing to have in the morning to break your fast with because it's really easy on the gut and it's super hydrating and it's really you should never be eating whole fruits like this you should if anything juice them in your mouth and then spit out the fiber again the fiber from whatever he's holding their oranges mandarins are also going to cause digestive issues again <laughs> really delicious. I never it's so easy things. for me to see what is right, causing his problems up. it's time to hit the gym I'm gonna have some rolled oats I'm gonna make oatmeal Oh, but you want to make sure that you're eating organic oats. And if you guys watched my last video, you know why, and you're already buying organic oats. But if not, you might want to go back and check that one out. Anyways, we're starting with organic oats. But first, literally looks like uh, rabbit food. So I'm actually going to blend up a little bit of water and a banana because I love cooking my oats in this because it makes them so nice and sweet. So oats actually contain a special type of fiber called beta-glucan. So this has a few different benefits. One is that it helps to slow our digestion down. No fiber on earth has any kind of benefit. So this means that we'll feel full for longer. It also helps to slow the rate at which sugars are absorbed so it won't spike our blood sugar as much. And another thing is... It's yes, because the food is basically indigestible, of course. 
the blood glucose will not spike as quickly. <laughs> Especially good prebiotic fiber, so it feeds the beneficial bacteria in our gut, which we know is extremely important for digestive health. Just uh, how severely mentally ill can you be to believe that eating, uh, like I said, rabbit pet food is going to actually help your digestion? Just how removed from nature does a human being have to be? It's also going to add some cinnamon. So not only is this going to add some flavor and sweeten it a little bit too, but cinnamon has... Cinnamon is very toxic and basically it's an antibiotic which will actually destroy your gut microbiome. That's some great benefits for our digestive health. How? In any way so at all. It's well known for helping to control blood sugar levels, but what a lot of people don't know is it also helps with gas and bloating. So there's something you might want to add to more of your meals. And I'm just going to chop up some apple. Or you could just eat food that doesn't cause gas and bloating. Wow. Yeah, you could. And add it as well while it's cooking. Because if you cook fruit, it actually makes it more easily digestible. All right, so they're all finished. So let me just plate it up and add a few things to it. So one thing that... That just looks like one big uh, fart fest. This is for the most part indigestible. It has to cause digestive issues. How could it possibly not eat? <laughs> what I'd often do now is to like mix up some protein powder with the rest of that banana milk and pour it on top. And instead, I'm just going to have some plain soy milk with it. So this is going to bump up the protein right quite a bit. But uh, the cool thing mm -hmm. about this soy milk is it's unsweetened and it doesn't have any thickeners. And then some hemp seeds to bump up the protein even more and to add some of those healthy omega-3 fatty acids. So hemp seeds are generally better tolerated than other nuts and seeds. Like they're easier on the digestion. So I'm going to load those on there. And then some frozen raspberries. They are basically indigestible you will simply excrete them whole again berries just for a little splash of color and a little bit more flavor so I know it can be tempting to want to throw a big scoop of peanut butter on here but if you are struggling with your digestion peanut butter is such a heavy concentrated source of fat a concentrated source of lectins very good for your digestion really great advice in this video that it can be pretty hard on the gut so you might want to leave this out for this meal all right last thing i'm throwing on here fats wouldn't be the problem the problem is that peanuts are loaded with oils polyunsaturated remember less is more when you're trying to heal your gut but i know i do all right on this stuff so i'm gonna have a little bit of shredded coconut on here too so one thing also really hard to digest that affects your digestion is basically everything he added has to lead to horrible digestive issues the emotional state that you're in when you're eating. So you really want to take some time before you eat to calm down, take some deep breaths because, you know, we end up becoming... You're really fucking delusional. You're trying to find answers and make up excuses as to why you have digestive issues, even though it's obvious that it's because you're a vegan. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna add some spices. So not only is this gonna add some more flavor to this dish, but it's also gonna help with digestion because these actually help with that. So turmeric, as we know, is a powerful anti-inflammatory and it helps to reduce inflammation. Turmeric is one of the most inflammatory plants that you could possibly consume. It's really ridiculous and dangerous, what he's saying. And besides that, it's also an antibiotic, which completely destroys your gut microbiome. It's very toxic and kills every microbe that it touches. Just such incredibly terrible advice in this video. Imagine somebody with IBS, for example, trying this. It, it will be painful. It will be painful for everybody. ...in the digestive tract, so I'm gonna put a bunch of that in. And then next I'm gonna add some ginger. I don't think this one has any <laughs> No, it doesn't, but trust me, it's powdered ginger. This guy is Ginger's funny. Ginger's great for digestion because not only does it help with gas and bloating, but it also helps increase gastric motility, which means that it helps to move things along your digestive tract. Oh my crazy. god. Next I'm gonna add some cumin seed. Obviously you could add powdered cumin as well. <laughs> So you guys know I like to have some greens with each of my meals, if I can, if it works with it. And spinach is going to be one of the easiest to digest, especially if it's wilted down. So I'm just going to put a couple handfuls in here. Okay, yeah, if you're going to cook it to death, it's basically going to be unrecognizable. And then it's digestible because it will simply pass through you. Generally, eating green leaves is incredibly unnatural for a human being. Really, it doesn't get much worse than that. <laughs> it just makes zero sense. No human being ever in nature ate any kind of green leaves. <laughs> it's just, it's, uh, this 
this video doesn't make any sense at all. All of this is horrible for the god. Oh my god. All right, so it's all done, and I think I'm gonna be eating this for like the next week because I made so. Many I'm. Everybody on earth who's going to eat this is going to have a huge bloated gut and is going to have gas all day and all night long. It's 100% guaranteed. I couldn't even think of worse meals for your gut, really. Really, if I would want somebody to be bloated all day for whatever reason, then I would recommend them to eat that. Really, I would. <laughs> all right, so I better give it I can't think of anything worse. Literally. For the next week and a half. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's definitely really good. The addition of the better than bouillon, like the vegetable broth, was a really good one because last time I made it, it was much more plain than this. But this is definitely like really good. It doesn't taste like... The thing is that he works out and because of that, he's going to be hungrier than your average vegan. And that's, of course, a big problem for his digestion. So much like a healing meal. It tastes like, you know, something you'd actually want to enjoy. So just as a little interlude in between lunch and dinner, I thought I'd bring you guys out here and show you this line that I just made for the cats. I thought it was pretty cool because... How freaking sad. Aren't they around 40 years old, this couple? They still don't even have any children. They have a cat on a, some weird leash. I had to like put the leash out that like kind of extends and she's always getting a little tangled and everything. And some garlic powder. So do be mindful with the garlic powder because I do find if I use too much of it, can definitely cause some digestive upset, so just a little bit of that. <laughs> and then to add just a bit more flavor to the bok choy, I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of this tamari. All right, so one thing this meal is definitely lacking is some protein. So I'm gonna have tempeh with it. So this is generally really easy to digest, a lot easier than tofu because it has been fermented. And we know that fermentation helps to break down some of the difficult to digest sugars and starches and, you know, does some of the work for us. So I've got two here. That's the only right thing he has said in this video. So after you steam sweet potatoes, you can definitely just like peel off the skin like this. If you don't want it, really easy to come off. So you can see how soft and squishy these are. Like they're pretty well cooked and that's probably how you want to do it if you want, you know, the best digestion because the more we cook food, generally the easier it is to digest. I guess he really is as delusional as I thought he is because the problem is obviously not that you don't cook food. The problem is that you eat plants which don't even exist in nature which means that it's not part of our natural so-called diet humans in nature eat raw meat and they don't have any digestive issues they don't need to cook it <laughs> apparently just about every single food can cause people some digestive upset so i don't know if I'm, I'm... no that's absolutely not true you've never tried eating your natural food, which is why you believe that. Avocados don't agree with you, then maybe don't add them, but I don't have any problems <sighs> with them, especially if it's a nice ripe avocado. And then of course, I'm gonna have a huge scoop of sauerkraut with this. What kind of digestion video would it be without a whole bunch of this? So I definitely do notice that things are more consistent and you know a lot better down there when I'm having sauerkraut consistently. And I was gonna make a new sauce, but since I have this like delicious curry one left over from lunch, I'm definitely gonna use this, because it was really good. Starch, man-made vegetables, super hard fiber, man-made fruit, tempeh. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> all right, so it's all plated up and ready to eat. So usually I'd add a bunch more like What a torturous life he must have. Well, but I know that raw veg can be tough on some people's guts. So, you know, we're just keeping it pretty plain today. And then I'd also usually dump like a whole bunch of hot sauce. Everybody has problems digesting raw vegetables because they are indigestible. Sauce on my meals, but I'm not trying to give any of you like heartburn or anything worse, so I'm gonna keep the hot sauce off it today. So before I dig into this, I'm actually gonna show you guys something that you can drink before your meals to improve your digestion. So this is a good thing to know about. It's called Swedish bitters. And as the name describes, it's an extremely bitter tonic. So they have a whole bunch of really bitter herbs in here. And what that does is it actually stimulates the secretion of our gastric juices. And that obviously promotes good digestion. So you just want to have it in a little bit of water. You're not trying to have, you know, a nice drink before your meal or anything like that. This is just so you taste the bitterness. Wow, yeah. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> this is the funniest video ever. All herbs are toxic. And if you extract the toxins from them, then you get something like Swedish bitters. Bitterness means toxicity. He's literally drinking toxins in front of you guys. In front of his viewers. Uh, it's just... Mix it up. 
Wow, that is so bitter. It's kind of like if you've ever chewed on like a dandelion stem, you know how it's just like that, that crazy bitterness? Yeah, definitely. No, I've never done that. I'm not stupid. It's kind of like that. So I don't know. I'm sure other bitter foods would do the same, but it's pretty cheap to get this stuff and it really does work quite well. Now that I've had that taste in my mouth, this is probably going to taste pretty amazing, <laughs> but I'm sure it's really good either way. So I'm going to have a little bit of the yam first and try that with the curry sauce on it. Yeah, really good. Let's try this bok choy. Yeah, really good, but pretty fibrous. I could see why this one might be tough for some people. You gotta chew it really well. All right, so just a couple other things. After I eat this meal, Crystal and I, we're gonna go out for a walk because we know that walking helps to stimulate digestion. And it's always a good idea to walk a little bit before bed, you know, because then your food isn't just like sitting there. What a horrible life. Always thinking about what's going to help your digestion because you eat a vegan diet. <laughs> your stomach has a chance to kind of move through. And also, peppermint tea. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely hit the like button if you did enjoy the video and if you learned something, subscribe so you can see more from me. All right, I really strongly advise you to not listen to anything he said. He's completely wrong about just everything. He already has digestive issues and then he's trying to fix them but tells you that this is what you should eat for good digestion. No, you should be eating foods which are not going to cause any digestive issues in the first place and then you won't have to look for any remedies such as bitter herbs. You're eating man-made plants which don't exist in nature and then you wonder why you have digestive issues even though humans before civilization had never seen any of these so-called foods, the plants. <laughs> why are you trying to make something work which cannot possibly work? Why not simply quit veganism? Thanks for watching.